Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Lego Harry Potter Gears 5 to 10. Last episode we finished off episode, or sorry, year 5, uh, story, year 5 story mode. Um, so now we're on year 6. There's a few things we can do here in Diagon Alley now that we have a few things unlocked. First we can get to Nocturne Alley here. Nocturne Alley is a little bit different than how it was in years 1 through 4. But there's still a few things that are the same. Um, the main thing, of course, here is Borgen and Burks. We're gonna want to go in there, of course, in just a minute. So here in Borgen and Burks, you'll see that this is where you buy the gold bricks. Um, so they have some gold bricks for sale here that you can buy. Um, that, this item here, don't worry about it. right now. We can't do anything about it. And uh, don't worry about anything else in here. Um, but yeah, we want to buy, there are, we'll buy the first gold brick and there's, there's 16 gold bricks here that you can buy and they get pretty expensive. So we're just going to take the one that we can get for free right now. And uh, that's all we're going to do in Nocturne Alley for the time being. Um, there will be more stuff that we can do here later. In the meantime, there's a few things that we can do now that, that we can do earlier. We can get this character. We didn't have access to our spell wheel. And there's a couple things I missed when I first came through Diagon Alley, so we're going to get those now. First is this character token. We could have gotten this earlier. It's fine. And there's also a gold brick hidden very cleverly right here. And as you can see, this shop now has been opened. It's Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. We'll be going in there in just a minute. That card ran us over. It does that in years one through four, so some things are still consistent. Again, Green Gots is not a, not a thing in this game, so don't worry about it. But yeah, we want to go inside Weasley's Wizard Wheezes here, now that it's been opened. So this is where you can access your special spells in this game. There's some, there's some new spells that you can unlock as well as some of the ones from years 1 through 4. And again, the cheat code thing is right there. As well, and there's some character tokens that we can get here. Um, and there's some stuff that we'll be able to get here later. But yeah, we'll be coming back here later to buy our extra spells. Most of these are not like really useful. They're just kind of they're for extras. Um, <clears throat> we don't want to go to Mount Malkits right now. We could buy characters at this point, but there's not really any characters that we want right now. So don't worry about it too much. But we do want a quick run upstairs here. And go to our mail here, and there's a red brick that we want to buy. Yes, collect ghost studs that we got earlier. We want to buy that now. We want to turn that on right away because why not? Pick up these ghost studs. So, yeah, so now we can collect ghost studs, and they are worth 1,000 studs each. So, very worth <coughs> picking up that red brick and getting that. Um. Uh, and then I did miss something here too when when I first came through the leaky cauldron, but that's okay. Can't remember everything, so that's why I'm getting it now. <clears throat> All right. So that takes care of that. So when we walk out this door, year six story mode will start right away. So just be prepared for that. So let's go out. And we get our year six loading screen now. Thank you. 
I don't think I'd want to take that hand either. Okay, so we apparated and now we're... Um, I forgot how to pronounce the village's name, so I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce it. But anyway, um, we're here to recruit someone since it seems that... And it seems that once again, we are, uh, once again, we, there is not a defense against the Dark Hearts professor at the moment. So, we're going to recruit someone in hopes to try to find, in, uh, in hopes to try to fix that. I thought this mailbox did something, but it doesn't. So we're going to get access to a new thing right now. This is an apparition point that we're building right now. Only Dumbledore can use it right now, but we'll be learning to use these later. Basically, you stand on it and you can teleport uh, just like that. So it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward uh, apparating, and you do get to use it a decent amount in this game. So. More on that later. Strength potion once again. Dumbledore does get access to the null spell at this point, as you saw earlier, but uh, it's not, we don't have to use it a whole lot here, but nevertheless. Hmm. 
Anyway, this is Horace Slughorn. He's an interesting uh, individual. We'll find it. We'll, we'll kind of learn more about him later, of course, as you can imagine. Nevertheless, we gotta kind of clean up this place a little bit because Slughorn kind of kind of tore this place up because he thought that Death Eaters were coming for him or something. I just forget about the fireplace. Mm. Oh, that guy looks familiar. <gasps> That's Tom Riddle. Mm. Unbreakable vow. <laughs> More on that later. So now we're here at Weasley's Wizard Weezes in the level. There's a few things we can kind of look around in here. Taking out these guys is a little tricky sometimes. Also, trying to hit this, trying to hit this target and this clown is also kind of tricky because you have to have the computer open the clown's mouth. Trying to do this is tricky. Okay, we need to 
switch to Ron here, obviously, because we need to use the Weasley box. Huh? To no good, Borgen and Bergs. First story level of year six. Alright, that will do it for this episode. Until next time, this is Joe Colton signing out.